اهلا بكم في تلفزيون كارديو اليكس And with us now, Dr. Mohamed Sadaa, Professor of Cardiology, Faculty of Medicine, Alexandria University. Hello, Doctor. How Hello. are you? Uh, what do you think about Cardio Alex 2017, and is it meeting your uh, expectation? Uh, actually, it meets more than my expectation. Uh, Cardio Alex uh, is uh, one of the biggest conference in Middle East and in Egypt. Uh, we have uh, this year uh, almost 7,000 attendees. Um, I think 25% uh, of them are uh, foreigners and 25% of them are young uh, uh, cardiologists. Uh, this is a state-of-the-art conference. We have different specialities. Uh, we share our experience with the foreigners from the, uh, all over the world. Okay. Uh, what are you going to present this year? Uh, actually, I have um, a live transmission from uh, ICC, a complex case of uh, multivessel disease. Uh, also, I have a presentation about the uh, rule of um, ordinary bare metal stent in cast lab. Is it time to remove it from the cast lab anymore? Uh, also, I have a um, forum in the um, complex uh, intervention in complex patient. Uh, we presented uh, that um, rule of renal protection in high complex patient to protect the kidneys in those patients. Also, uh, we have the rule of antiplatelet uh, beyond one year after anti uh, PCI. Okay, what's new in the field of intervention this year? Uh, I think um, the drug coated uh, stents, this is one of the, my uh, interests this year. The um, uh, heart failure management by new drugs, uh, one of those uh, are interest to, it's one of the famous drugs uh, right now approved by FDA and CE. Uh, also, the um, TAVR, I mean um, percutaneous intervention for uh, tight aortic stenosis in severe, uh, in high risk and moderate risk patients. Okay, uh, what's, your, what's your opinion regarding the new bioabsorbable stents? Actually, we were in um, two months ago in uh, ECC, in, uh, American College of Cardiology, and there is an FDA warning about bioabsorbable vascular scaffold uh, implantation because um, the last trials published on this stand, there's a concern about uh, late stent thrombosis. And the uh, FDA uh, advised the doctors to uh, do proper sizing and proper preparation and proper post dilatation for such a stand and to advise the patient to keep them on dual antiplatelet for longer time uh, rather than the drug repeat stand. Okay. Uh, when to evaluate intermediate lesions using the IVIS or FFR? Actually, we have a case last uh, yesterday with a uh, live transmission from ICC. We have a patient who is borderline osteal LED. We discussed this topic uh, with the panel and uh, with the floor uh, from the ICC to the Republic of Alexandria. And we uh, discussed the rule of FFR, and it was negative for such patient. And we confirmed it by IVAS also, and it was negative. So we deferred to put a stand for such patient. So I think it's mandatory tools right now. Okay, at the end, um, what would you like to see in Cardio Alex 2018? Uh, see you all here in a good health and uh, in our beloved Alexandria. And I wish Egypt will be uh, more and more in uh, progress. Okay, hopefully. thanks a lot, doctor. Thanks so Thank much. you. Thanks so much. Have a nice day.